Aloha mai kako, aloha kakahiaka nui. I know it's a little early, but good morning and welcome back to Hula. This is Halau Napuahala Kunoi Kekai. I'm Kumu Kanoi. This is Eames Kalaniakea. And we are ready to start Hula in just a few minutes. Um, hoping everyone got the memo that Kumu has something on event a little bit later not that much later, in about an hour, <laughs> um, just down the valley here in Nu'uanu. So thank you folks for understanding that we're starting a little early today, 8.30 Hawaiian time. I don't know what time it is for all of you, but I saw some of our friends in Japan have joined us. So it might be like 3.30 a.m. for them or something like that. You folks are awesome thank you for being with us so hope everyone is doing well we have lots to do i have a little um actually kind of like a craft lay uh hair piece project that i'm gonna show you and of course we'll do all of our chants prayers and get to the hula miloli'i so i believe it's time Welcome back to Halau na Puahala Kuno Wike Kai. Every Saturday, we start our classes the exact same way. And so if you've been coming week after week, you know that we always start with our anthem. It was at one time our national anthem, and now it is our state anthem. It is known as Hawaii Pono I. And if you've been with us for a while, you know that we have been um, thinking and hoping and wishing for a high Hawaii, a Hawaiian flag. So finally, after much, much uh, searching, we have dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> we'll go a little bit closer so we can hear the mic. Okay, so we finally have our high Hawaii, which of course is our Hawaiian flag, so that we can. Oh, you can hold it, so that we can honor our our flag and our Hawaii as we sing. Okay, so make sure your kuli luna stands on up. Make sure your back is straight. Palike kua, mahina kialo, your face shines like the moon as we do. Hawaii pono i. Pa. Hawaii pono i. Na na i komo i. Kala ni ali'i ke ali'i Makuala ni e kamehameha e Na kawa e pale having the flag it gave me a little extra oomph for my anthem 
Okay, our next thing that we do in our routine every Saturday, of course, is our Ole Aloha. But before we do our Ole Aloha, we want to know who we are Aloha-ing because of Aloha means hello, goodbye, and we love you and all of that kind of thing. So let's see who has joined us bright and early this morning, or some of you it's in the afternoon, but here we go. We have, of course, the Manahula Circle gang in Japan. Aloha mai kako. Nice to see you folks. We have Sherry K. Okay, Doti, aloha no, nice to see you, very good. Patricia, all the way in Massachusetts, aloha mai. And of course, Inger Kanoi, one of the, the daughters, um, nice to see you. We'll be down at Hanaya Kamalama later on, nice to see you, aloha kakahiaka. Floor from Detroit, Michigan, aloha no. Angelica from Kelamania, Germany, nice to see you. Priya, aloha no, no. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yes, Patricia. I hope everybody got the memo, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, Misuk An from Korea. Incheon, Korea. Nice to see you. Aloha, Mai. McCoy, ML. Aloha. Thanks for being part of our Hula Ohana this morning. I see the Pashon Ohana has joined us from Makiki. I love that picture that I posted of you, your little ones that are not so little anymore. Oh, did I skip? Sorry. Coco, Coco. I missed Coco, Coco from Mexico. I also missed uh, Akemi from Tokyo. It's midnight. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Uh, I also see Beverly from Kelowna, BC. Aloha mai. Leslie from Florida. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing well. Hayato. Takaoka from Japan. Barbara from Kailua Kona. Wow. We got a good gang here today. Pretty good. About 20 or so of you got the memo that we're starting early. Maybe we'll see at 9 o'clock there'll be a huge flood of people coming in the door and they'll think, what? I missed it. Anyways, thank you folks for being with us today. We're glad that you're here and we're ready to aloha you all from us here in Nu'uanu Valley on the island of Oahu all around the world. We send our aloha to you. Make sure when you do your oli aloha that you turn your head. Just get in the habit that you're not staring straight at the computer or the iPad, whatever you're watching. Okay, here we go. Oli aloha. Akahai na Hawaii, Lokahi Akulike, Olu Olu Kamana O, Ha a Kokulana, Aho Nuya Lana Kila. Mahalo for that. We have, of course, our silly daddy behind the camera. Every time we get to ha ha a kokulana, he goes, blink. <laughs> He's our little ha ha a meerkat. Anyways, we're going to move on with our routine and we will move on to our prayers. For those, we always noho ilalo have a seat. So our first prayer today is the Hawaiian doxology, and we do two verses. The first verse, of course, written by Hiram Bingham, um, and the second verse written by Kumu Haonani Bernardino, the late Kumu Haonani B. So here we go with Hawaiian doxology, Ho'onani Pa. Ho'onani kamakua Oh. 
character is done in the call and response style. In Hawaiian, we call that kahoa hoa. So I'll be the leader, Eames will follow, and you can choose to be with either one of us. E ke akua, pa. E ke akua. Mahalo no. Mahalo no. Mahalo ya oi. Mahalo ya oi. No ke ya la. No ke ya la. Ah, mene. Ah, mene. Ah, mene. Aloha no. Mahalo for that. Okay. I just saw that Chaplain Madaris joined us. She wants you to teach her the second verse of Ho'onani. Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. As we move on, this, um, this chant reminds us to be thankful for every single day. And so we are very thankful for today because, gosh, it's a beautiful one. I know you folks get sick of me saying that. But, e ims kianila. How is the weather over here in Uanu? How does it look? You want to see? I think he wants to see what the camera sees. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how is it? How? Pehea kiani la. How's the weather? Uh, he la mali. Ai. He la mali It's a very calm, um, kind of a, a serene day here in Nuuanu Valley. As you can see, not too much wind, a little bit. Ugh. A little bit vela since there's not much wind and not much cloud cover but we would love to know peheo kenila mako home um where, where your home is how is the weather so you can go ahead and put into that little blank he la blank keia or for some of our friends it's he po blank keia because it's in the middle of the night for you thank you for joining us at midnight um but mahalo for for sharing with us we always love to know how's it going and also be thankful for whatever the day may bring right so next up we have our so our song chant whatever it's called to rise up the sun you saw ours is pretty sunny already but here we go e -a -a. we're gonna do a pattern with our hands upoho upoho pa'i upoho upoho pa'i e -a -a. E -a -a. E -a -a. E last time here we go and e ala e kala i ka hiki na i ka moana ka moana ho ho nu pi i ka leva ka leva nu u i ka hiki na ayakala e ala e that's it i know i forgot upoho instead of pa'i yes you have a comment yeah what is it i wonder what Ooh, he was wondering what Eale would uh, sound like with harmony. I think that's something for us to experiment with off camera. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe we'll practice before next week and get back to you on that. Okay, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is Eho Mai helps us to focus and to be ready to learn all of the hidden meanings of our songs, chants, prayers, and all that we do here. So, Eho Mai, three times. E ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na a me a huna no e a o na mele e ho o mai e ho o mai e ho o mai e ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na a me a huna no e a o na mele.
mahalo for that. At this time, we are going to move on to our ipu work and we're gonna go right into our beats. So go ahead and grab your ipu and a pale. A pale, of course, is something to protect your ipu from hitting against the ground. So the one that I have here, I made when I was a kid. Um, it has some fabric inside uh, on the outside and then inside has carpet and I added a little fringe on the edges. But it can be something as simple as without the fringe, like what Eames has, or it could just be a pot holder or even a towel or a pareu or some fabric folded in half. But it's basically to protect your ipu from hitting the ground. Um, and even if it's not really too padded, we also want to protect it from, you know, the, the surface that we walk on with our feet. So something in between your ipu and the ground is always a must. Okay, so holding the ipu with your left hand and using the right hand, I am mirroring you. Um, don't don't worry about what Eames is doing, but we're going to do this right here. On the side of the ipu, you're going to just do that little rattling. That one is called the what? Kaeke loloe. That's right, kaeke loloe. Okay, this next one is a u te. Can you do that pattern? U te, u te, u te, and stop. That one is called what? Pa, that was the pa beat. Very good. Okay, the next one. This pattern is u te te. Can you join me? U te te, u te te, u te te, and stop. Okay, what, what is that one called? Ka hella. Very good. And the last one sounds like this. Join in. Last one. And coop. Okay, what was that called? Cool, cool, very good. Okay, so now I'm going to string together a few of those titles and then you play the resulting pattern. Okay, so we're going to do pa, kahela, kuku in order. Just one of each. Easy. Ready, set, here we go. Ute, ute, te, u, 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 te, te. Very good. Okay, next pattern. Kuku, kahela, pa. Working our way from the bottom to the top. Ready, set, here we go. Kuku. Kahela and a pa. Okay, now getting a little tricky, we're gonna go pa, kahela, kuku, kuku, kahela, pa. Going top to bottom and then bottom to top. Ready? Here we go. And pa, kahela, kuku, kuku, kahela and a pa. Very good. Okay, last pattern, last pattern. We're gonna do two pa, two kahela. No, sorry, four pa. <laughs> Four kahela, two kuku. Okay, four, four, two. Okay, one, two, ready, go. A pa, 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 pa. Kahela, 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 kuku, kuku. And stop right there. Very good. Okay, you can actually put your ipu and your pale away. We're not going to do basic steps today because I have a little something to share with you. Um, actually, I, maybe I'll sit. Maybe I will sit. This is nice. Then I can get really close to the camera. Um, I'm going to be heading out after hula, and I'm just going to go right down the valley here to a place called Hanaya Kamalama. Now, Hanaya Kamalama is the name of Queen Emma's summer palace. So if you've been watching our hula classes for a little while, you will know that Queen Emma is one of my absolute favorite ali'i. And she had a summer home right here in Nu'uanu Valley that we're so lucky to be close to. Um, there's a group that takes care of Queen Emma Summer Palace, and they're known as the Daughters of Hawaii. I think some of them are watching today. And they are putting on an event today called Ho'ona Nea Hanaya Kamalama. That's a mouthful. Yes? Question? Oh, okay. A comment? Okay. So Ho'ona Nea Hanaya Kamalama is actually... Um, a tour of the summer palace but what they're adding on to the tour is a rental of a mu'u mu'u from um the mu'u mu'u library which you folks know i love the mu'u mu'u library so when you go to have your tour you get to get dressed in a beautiful mu'u mu'u and then i'm gonna be there helping everyone to put a little pizzazz up top um i'm just gonna be helping to make some hair pieces for them to go with their 
ensemble. So I just wanted to show you some of what I have prepared and show you kind of what I'm going to be doing there. Um, this will be a monthly event, although this is the only one that I'm going to be a part of. So definitely go check them out next month. I think tickets are already on sale for the next tour and you can do something like this. I'm not sure what they're going to do for the hair piece um, in, in coming months, but this is the one that I'm showing. So one of my favorite hair pieces to make is a very simple one that's made all out of tea leaf. And um, if I don't have time to make a full le po'o or, or something like that, sometimes I'll just make this. And it takes me maybe about 10 minutes to put together. And that's from picking off of the tree and putting it all together. It's very, very fast. So sometimes if I want to have something in my hair um, and I don't have too much time, I'll do something like this. So to just give you uh, an idea, on the back side, I have a bowl, and then I have a little bowl on top of that, and then I have three tea leaf roses. So this entire hair piece is all made out of tea leaf, um, and it's essentially like three layers, a base layer, a middle layer, and a top layer. And so I'm going to be doing something like this down at Hanaya Kamalama. But what I decided was to give them some different options of their layers. So instead of all tea leaf, maybe they might choose to do something like this, which has, um, I have, I think they called it um, Australian Ruscus, but this one is bleached. This, so this one is uh, that on the back. And then I have leather leaf fern. And then I have a tea leaf bowl. And then I have a mixture here of, can you see that? Tea leaf, um, tea leaf roses and uh, what is it called? Jute, jute roses that I made also. So that's another option. Another option is the one that I put on my head already. Can you see that? Okay, so we have a baby monstera leaf with a tea leaf bowl and then I stuck a mum on the top of it. I think I have some little status also sticking out the edges. I forgot what I put on my head already. But so what the um, when they come to Hana Kamalama, they'll have a choice of all of these kinds of things. So we have the ruscus, the leather leaf. We have some shinobu fern. This one is actually um, just the rapist palm that I, I cut down. So if you wanted to have something like that, I have some bowls like this. And they're just going to stack them one on top of the other. I also have... These are just some pre-made um, roses that I have in different colored jute. Uh, I just found the jute ribbon and I made some roses out, out of those. I love to use all different tea leaves, you know, some green, some green and yellow, some red, some brown. I just think it gives a really nice, um, you know, depth rather than just greenery. So this is sort of the, the final prod product that we have. And I was going to show you really, really quickly how it all comes together. So Eames, do you want to choose? Do you want to choose some things? What do you want to put on the base of yours? Nice, nice choice. So he chose the rapist palm that I trimmed down. You want to hold that up so that they can see it? That's it. Yes. Oh, here. This is jute ribbon. So I found this at Floradec. It was on sale for... I don't know, $2 or something like this. So this is jute. I also have muslin ribbon like this. Um, so that's what it kind of looks like on the roll. And then you can make it into um, roses. I'm not sure if we have time to do a, a tutorial on roses, but there's tons of tutorials on YouTube um, on how to do that. So anyways, okay. So you want to put that on the bottom. And then um, how about, do you want to put like a little tea leaf rose on top? I mean, a tea leaf bow on top of that? Okay. And then how about choose some of these little roses here? So the trick, maybe choose three different roses or the same, whatever, up to you. The trick about this one that I love is that there's very simple supplies. And it is the greenery, which is probably the hardest part. And then a rubber band. I hate using um, complicated things. So I just use kitchen rubber band. You could have taken it off of your newspaper or whatever. And... Um, so this is what we're going to do. So Eames is choosing his three. Nice. You want to choose? So he has. One. No. What? Okay. I'm lost. Oh, that's okay. We think we may have lost the feed. Waiting for the live video to signal. I think we might be back. Okay. 
maybe i don't know okay we're back <laughs> okay so thank you for that commercial break i hope you did something awesome while we were gone um <laughs> Okay, so here are the uh, roses that Eames has chosen. He chose one of the um, red jute ribbon, one of a tea leaf that has um, sort of dried. It was actually a red tea leaf, but it's sort of dried, so it's red and yellow. It's called like pala. Um, pala is like um, kind of faded, yeah? And then this one is a green tea leaf, but it does have a little bit of brown in it. Hey, babe, can you mirror to this thing so I can see? No problem. Okay, so we have these three. So here's the trick. I don't know if it's really a trick, but here's my kitchen rubber band. I'm just going to go around it, yeah? And maybe I'm going to I'm gonna twist it maybe one time. That's it, okay? So I have, I don't know if you can see this. Basically, I went around. I'll show you one more time. I have the bunch of the three. That's the topmost layer. You're going to bunch them together. Take your rubber band, put it around one time, twist it, and then go around one more. So you have lots of slack here, okay? Now, you have your next things, your two other things that you want. You have the rapist palm and then the tea leaf bow, which I did ahead of time, sorry. Um, for the tea leaf bow, you just kind of make a loop out of the tea leaf and then tie it with, with um, wire, green wire. You could also just pinch it and do this all with the rubber band but for this you're gonna put this whole thing right on top okay so it's kind of coming together already that's hard to see okay and then you're gonna take the rubber band that you have extra you're gonna go around the back side of your thingy majiggy come back to the front and then just loop the rubber band all the way around all three of your middle stuff and then you can just boink, let it go if you want to tighten it up maybe you can go around a couple more times but you don't have to but if you want to try and hide the ribbon a little bit more or hide the rubber band you can just go around a few more times and that's it okay so now I just kind of go in and tuck the rubber band so that you can't really see it if you look at the back you can sort of see it, but, yep, basically, it just all comes together like that. And then, you just pin it on your head like that. Eames doesn't have too much hair to pin to, but I could put it in mine. Oh, I lost my bow. You got to make sure the, the bow is part of your your scoopy doop just like that okay so anyways that's what i'm going to be doing with my ladies down at hanaya kamalama um very easy to have this kind of stuff on hand if you want to be able to just slam it together real quick but that is that's what we're going to be doing right after hula today um i think they're sold out for today but definitely head down this is one that i made a little bit earlier and um yeah, you see me wearing them, wearing them all the time. If you see me wearing a tea leaf bowl in my hair, it's probably because I was very rushed and ran out of time. Okay. Anyways, um, I think we should get to hula before we lose our feed again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He does have plenty hair in the front to, to pin to. That's true. Okay. Let's hop up. It is time to hula. Our hula for this month is Milo Li'i. And Milo Li'i is a very tiny fishing village on the island of Hawaii. So it is sort of on the, um, the Kona side, kind of southern part of the Kona district. And it is a fishing village. Um, you know, that's what they're known for is fishing. And uh, the people there are very, I would say, kuaina, right? They're very in touch with the land. And um, this song actually talks about leaving Milolii and going to the big city um, first to Honolulu. Uh, actually, first to Waikiki on the island of Oahu. And later on, the song is going to take them on different journeys away from even Waikiki, further than Waikiki, if you can even imagine that. But let's talk about the first verse. We're going to do a quick review. So Milo Li'i is going to start with your hands. Um, your, your vamp is going to be a kaholo to the right and then a kaholo to the left. Okay, so just a very simple hula vamp. Okay, so you're going to hold low to the right, 
two, three, and left, two, three. If you don't know what a holo is, maybe watch one of my review videos. But kaholo, of course, is just four steps to the right, four steps to the left. Let's try it. Hands and feet. Da 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 da. Good. Okay. Now milo lii is gonna be right here. It's a tiny fishing village. So remember, you're just gonna push down and then come back together. Not too wide. Okay. Kaholo, right and left. It goes milo lii. The next part, akune aula, just means I went over there. So you're going to bring your hand from your um, chest. Akune, I went over there. And then, aula. Yeah, so I went, come over there. Yes, I did. Okay, so there's a little bit of an extra beat there. So you're going to get chest and out, beckon, beckon to self. Okay, let's try just the hands. Milo li'i. Milo li'i is the place. Akune aula, where I went. Okay, for that, you're going to kaholo forward towards your hands, and then you're going to kaholo back. But there's an extra beat. So you're going to go forward. Akune. And then this one, you're going to go back and back and back again okay so don't take huge steps back otherwise you're gonna run into the wall or if you're dancing down ho'olaolea in waikiki you might fall off the stage into the pond okay so you gotta be careful so here we go milo li'i holo right milo li'i holo imua akune aula bring it in okay ikekau e kakela you're going to do something very exciting in Milolii, which is you're gonna ride a donkey. Yeah. So you're gonna hold on to the donkey with your left hand. Your right hand is gonna give a little encouragement. And you're gonna do that two times. So you're gonna sway to the right, whack it, sway to the left, whack, and then you're gonna hold on to those reins. When you're doing that, your feet work is gonna be a ka o right, ka o left, pause right. Okay, so when you hold on, you're gonna pause your foot. So ka o right, ka o left, pause right. And then you think you're in charge, but nope, this donkey's gonna take you for a ride because he's nuha. He's kind of upset. Nuha ike on the road, a la nui. Yeah, so nuha, he's gonna go, ah, 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 take you three turns and then on that path or the road, a la nui. Okay, let's try the whole thing. Hola to the right. And Milo Li from the center. Milo Li Akunehi Aula Ikekau E Kakela Anu Haike Ala Nui Bada di da bi da bi da bi da Milo Li Milo Li Akune aula ikekau e kakela anu haike ala nui. Okay, this one, have a little fun with it. If your donkey goes this way and your friend's donkey goes the other way, that's okay too. Okay, have you ever seen a pack of donkeys all going exactly straight in the same direction? No. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, we're going to move on to verse number two. And hopefully, Ings will come join us so that he can learn it also. Ooh, we have a friend from Spain. Aloha. Okay, so verse number two, Pauku e Lua, takes us to Waikiki. Of course, everybody knows that's my favorite place to go. Waikiki is no longer on the island of Hawaii. It is right here on the island of Oahu, where we are located, down the way, this way a little bit. Um, and Waikiki literally means spouting waters. Um, and, of course, all of the water from the upland, the mountains, would go down to Waikiki. And so that's Waikiki for you. Now, when this boy goes to Waikiki, there's no more donkeys to ride. But he's bound and determined to ride something. So, <laughs> get your mind out of the gutter, boy. Okay, he's going to ride an elepani. Do you know what an elepani is? Hmm. Hmm, 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 
What do you think it is? No. What is it? Why are there elephants? <laughs> he said, why is there an elephant in this song? Well, I would like to introduce you to my dear friend, Daisy. Not him. Over there. <laughs> so Daisy was an elephant that was brought to the Kapi'olani Park area. And at first, it was kind of a gimmick. In fact, she was brought in um, along with a few other tr um, exotic animals by the developer who was selling plots of land around the Waikiki area. So he brought this in as a gimmick for people to come down to Waikiki and see an ostrich, some monkeys, and Daisy the elephant. For a, for a very low cost, you could have your child ride a African elephant around Kapi'olani Park. Her name was Daisy. She was so beloved. Um, some of you who know the story will know that it was sort of a tragic ending. I don't know if we really want to talk about that. I mean, no, it wasn't Tyke, but it's kind of similar. She, she had a falling out, let's say, with her keeper and um, was released from duty indefinitely. So that is not very... <laughs> anyway, uh, she was famous at the time of this song being written, or at least when this boy visited Waikiki. So he remembered seeing the elephant and, and riding this elephant. No more donkeys in Waikiki, just elephants. So here we go. Let's learn verse number two. So it says, Waikiki akunei aula. Okay, so we're going to keep it pretty simple. Waikiki is going to be a little wave to the right. Waikiki. Why is that always the motion for Waikiki? So you can remember it. Okay, so we're going to go to the right. Waikiki. Then guess what? Akunei aula. Akunei aula. Okay, now, this is not just I'm riding a donkey. This is I'm riding an elephant. Okay, so remember, this is a little bit of a comic hula. So if you have a mu'u mu'u like me, you want to make sure you, you lift your, your skirt. Give yourself a little room. Okay, don't lift that too far. Okay, you're going to take your, your feet. Now, this is going to look a little bit like sumo, um, and a, but it is going to be almost like a hula move, but not quite. Right, this is newfangled Waikiki. So you're gonna take the hula move that it's referencing is a lele and uehe. Okay, that's a very ancient form of lele uehe. Sometimes lele uehe you see step, point together uehe. That's a more modern one. The more simple one is just gonna be step together uehe. Okay, but if you step together uehe, you're gonna fall right off the other side of the the elepani. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to lift our foot up. Do you see that? You got to fit a, a baby elephant between there. So depending on how big your elephant is. Okay, watch out. <laughs> okay, so I know, I know it's silly, but this is like Kamekula. Okay, so Waikiki, ready? Here we go. Waikiki, going forward. Akune aula ikeko elepanila. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ihupelele for ihupelele. One hand is gonna be across here, and your right hand is gonna go from. Yeah, we're marrying you. So, ihupelele. This is the nose, and then it's swaying here and there. One and two okay yes that's a nose okay <laughs> so you're gonna hold it to the right sorry the to the left Ihupele, and then it's gonna swing this way and then swing that way and then we holo da 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 waikiki waikiki here we go akune aula ikeko Elepanila, ihu pele eleu, ba da 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 da. Waikiki, Waikiki, 
akunei aula i keko ele panila i hupele eleu da 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 how was that you just got to remember after your oops ele pani you got to go this way i hupele eleu okay this is a hula class, in case you're wondering, what are you watching? I was wondering it myself. Okay, here we go, all the way back to me lonely. Where the heck is my thing? Okay, let's see if we can catch Waikiki. Took too long. Okay, sorry. Gotta make it last. What's happening? Oh my gosh. I know what's happening. Can you hear it? Oh, all of the technical. Waikiki. Sorry. Waikiki, second verse. Okay, get on. Ike kau ele panila i hupele ele. Hello. Don't throw your back on Waikiki. my way. Waikiki. We go. Get on the ele panila i hupele ele. We gotta wear the move move for this one, otherwise it just doesn't have the same effect. Calafrisco. Calafrisco. Oh, 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 okay. I'll give you a little hint of what's coming up next. Okay, let's go all the way back to mi lo li. -i. Are you ready? We got a downshift. We got a downshift to the donkey. Okay, how would I sit with the mu'u mu'u? She's roomy, don't worry. Kaholo. Mi lo li. Mi lo li. Let's go one more time. That was fun. Hey, your donkey is in good shape. Waikiki. Waikiki. We go again. Akune aula ike kau ele panila yuhu pele leu Waikiki Waikiki Akune aula ike kau ele panila yuhu pele leu Calafresco. Yeah, good job. Frisco. Okay, so we started in Miloli'i, we came over to Honolulu, and we rode an elephant, and then next week we're going to be going all the way to Califrisco or San Francisco, California. So you got to tune in for that. That was just a sneak peek, um, a sneaky peeky. Uh, before we head out today, uh, thank you folks for joining us a little bit early. If you jumped in at 9 o'clock and you're thinking, gosh, that was a really short hula, um, we actually started at 8.30, but the replay will be available as soon as we're Paul here, so feel free to tune into that. I want to make sure that I do my little uh, recap of what we're doing in August. So here's our calendar for August. We had a few small changes. We are right in right on the cusp of beginning our in-person classes, hopefully, if this Delta variant can just chill out. Um, we're supposed to be starting our beginning classes back here at Halal on Fridays at 4 and Saturdays at 10.30. I still have room in the Saturday 10.30 class. Um, intermediate Keiki, if your Keiki have a little bit more experience or they've been with us before but haven't been back since before the pandemic, we welcome them back. That's going to be Fridays at 5.00. Adults, we have a class at Tuesday, on Tuesdays at 6 p.m., and that one is just about 
full. So if you want me to start another class, you just got to bring 10 ladies with you and then I'll be happy to. <laughs> um, our Kahua Hula Basics on Mondays at 6 at um, High Climb Gym. And then right here online, Facebook Hula every Saturday at usually 9 a.m. Hawaiian time. Um, our Zoom Keiki classes will be resuming at 4.30 on Thursdays. And last but not least, we will be offering a Zoom class. And I have a whole slide just for that. Our Zoom Hula workshop will be with me, Kumu Kanoi. Um, and it's going to be on August 29th. That's a Sunday. And there are two different times that you can choose from, either 9 a.m. or 6 p.m. Um, Hawaiian time and I tried to list out as many uh, time zones as I could fit on there so I don't know if my uh, Japan friends want to join us at 4 a.m. or 1 p.m. but whatever works for your schedule it is there you can find more information at this website or you can just go ahead to the event on our Facebook and you can actually buy tickets through there it's $35 I think Facebook is actually $34.99 so you save a penny if you do it through Facebook um, <laughs> but that's what we're doing this month um, we're not very busy you know just kind of chilling <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope I see some of you down at Hanaya Kamalama. If not, have a beautiful week. Don't forget to practice that elephant and donkey pose. Um, <laughs> uh, we're going to finish up with our poi balls today. And so if you have your poi balls available, um, you can do that. If not, please enjoy. We will do our hokey hokey to wrap up our... Okie dokie, hokey hokey. Thank you. Sorry, I gotta start our music. Hokey hokey, where are you? Oh, you think I'd have this figured out like 19 months later? No, still slow. Okay, here we go. Hokey hokey. Of course, hokey, these do not come from Hawaii. Toru fa. From New Zealand. Aotearoa, mahalo to our I know some of you must be getting good practicing your poi balls. That's your signature move. That move that uh, that Eames is doing is double cartwheel with the with the hair flip. Double cartwheel hair flip. I think my favorite is this one. Um, two hand butterfly and then we do two hands over. I mean, alternating hands over. One hand butterfly over there for Eames Kalanian Kale. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, nice! Right over. You don't see this one as much. This is thread the needle. It's actually easier than it looks. Or should I say harder than it looks on? <laughs> And that's it. Thank you so much for joining us today for another Saturday Hula. Hope that you have a fabulous week and we'll see you next time. Ahui ho!